So we are currently going through a revolutionary shift. First, there was the industrial revolution, then there was the mass media revolution, and now we are in the digital revolution. If you think about it, advertising, it stayed relatively the same for about 50 years until the internet and social media came and disrupted it. Now, advertisers are spending their money towards platforms like YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And on top of these platforms, we have these things called influencers. Now, you might be wondering like, well, what is an influencer, Rachel? Well, simply put, an influencer is just someone like you and me, except for they choose to consistently post stuff online. So currently, influencer marketing is a $4.5 billion industry, and it's projected to be a $10 billion industry by 2020. So what is happening is these brands, they're realizing, wow, this is a highly effective way to market to millennials. So I often get asked, what is the difference between a celebrity and an influencer? And it's really just one word, my friends, and that's relatability. I used to follow more like cycling accounts because I used to do competitive cycling but now I changed to the gym and I follow more like workout plans and fitness fitness bloggers that show like what they do what they like exercise and um, daily meals I follow nutritionists I follow fitness and health accounts that like have recipes um, for me personally, I love uh, doing gym, so I will follow some maybe um, accounts that teach you some gymnastic moves or some fitness, uh, short fitness workouts. And most of the fitness accounts would mainly be for like weightlifting or bodybuilding and stuff, and some accounts that post like nutrition tips and stuff as well. So kind of a mix. Uh, for the most part, I follow celebrity trainers. I kind of look at celebrities who's physique or fitness regime I'd like to follow and I look at what their trainers are telling them. Inspiration, I think, uh, for the fitness exercises, just to try new things and to see what I can do. And for the healthy eating, also just to get some ideas about what to cook and what is healthy. It's for motivation, inspiration. I like to have a look at the exercises they present there so I can change my variety of exercises so I can do them on the gym. 
and about the food so I can know more recipes while I'm cooking. The nutritionists, they usually give like more scientific explanation for my own daily life, but like the models are obviously for inspiration or motivation, I guess. Uh, maybe to learn some more, some more about health and fitness culture. Yes, to stay healthy, you know. You get the before picture and the after picture, and your goal is obviously to get to that after picture, so. I definitely think that my Instagram feed determines, I mean, maybe not determines, but influences uh, the way I do my exercises, the way I live. There's periods of times that you are not in the mood, not even to go to the gym, not even to do anything, but when I check them, yeah, maybe I won't skip a workout and I prefer eating like an apple than something unhealthy. Yes, I would say it impacts me a lot because um, in the past I didn't know much about how to eat healthily or do some workouts in the correct way. But uh, through some Instagram accounts I can t uh, learn some maybe correct forms when I'm doing exercise or some more healthier diets. When it comes to finding new workouts that I haven't tried yet, Instagram definitely uh, helps. I've got a lot that are saved on my phone, so if I see something and I'm sitting in class, I think, oh wow, that'd be a lot of fun to try out. I'll save it and then I'll go to the gym later that day and I'll try that workout. Some months ago I saw the girl I follow who had a very nice outfit and I thought oh maybe I can check the brand out and I knew that it was a sponsored one because she gets sponsored by the brand but I still bought it, bought it in the end yeah not really but I'm trying to redo the recipes they show so maybe the ingredients that they put in the recipes but not the specific brand yeah, like, but there are a few vloggers that I trust more. Like, some of them, I, I feel like it could be more advertisement, like the ones with millions of followers. But there, there are a few that have like less followers, and I trust more. And I act like when they say something is really good, I usually like get curious to try it or something. Yeah, I've seen some mainly like kind of supplements, like protein and creatine and stuff from. Um, from Instagram adverts and uh, read through the comments, seen what the reviews were and then made up what you. Let me hear you say 